Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to send query to PostgreSQL database using simple PGSQL library, directly from ESP8266. Let's get started. From ESP8266 that connected to Wi-Fi network, I will send query commands to a PostgreSQL database, such as select, insert, update, and delete. To send these query commands, I'm using the simple PGSQL library. Feel free to visit its GitHub page for more detailed information on how to use this library. Don't forget to download the library's zip file, then extract it into the library's folder within the Arduino IDE directory located in the Documents folder. Next, open the Arduino IDE application and then navigate to open the example code provided in the simple PGSQL library. Proceed to the example code, and modify the configuration settings such as the IP address of the PostgreSQL database, Wi-Fi connection settings, and the database connection configuration including user, password, and the specific database to be connected. Before uploading, ensure that the correct board is selected. In this case, since I am using the ESP8266 generic module, make sure it's chosen in the board selection menu. Additionally, ensure that the correct port is selected before proceeding with the upload. After uploading, open the serial monitor to start to test sending of query commands to the database. Press the reset button on the ESP device to reset the connection and begin the process anew until enter query notification appears. This is an example table that I'll be using, namely the customer's table. Let's try sending a select query. Oops, it seems an error occurred stating that the customer's table does not exist. This issue arises because the library cannot recognize table names with uppercase letters. Let's go ahead and rename the customer's table using an all lowercase format. Now, let's try sending the select query again to view the customer's table that has been renamed. Great, it worked this time. The serial monitor should display the contents of the customer's table, including both the header and its data. To avoid errors, I'll ensure that the names of each column in the customer's table are all in lowercase. Let me go ahead and make that adjustment first. Now that all column names have been renamed to lowercase, let's test it again by sending the select query to retrieve all data. Okay, now let's try fetching the address value from the customer's table where the customer ID is 1. Ok, it worked to retrieve the address based on the customer ID. That's a successful query. Let's try sending another query, this time to retrieve a single row of data based on the customer ID. Great! So far, we've successfully sent a select query to the PostgreSQL database with the customer's table. Now, let's try some other queries. Now, let's try executing an insert query to add a new row of data. It seems there was an error, the query couldn't be executed. Let's try editing the query syntax by reducing it to insert data into just two columns. 
If it works, we can see the changes in the database after refreshing the table. But why can't we execute longer queries? Let's take a look at the code. The issue lies in the code. The program is only accepting 64 characters from the serial input, preventing us from sending queries longer than that. Let's edit the program to increase the number of characters it can receive from serial communication. Don't forget to upload the code again after making the changes. After uploading the code, let's resend the complete insert command to add a new row of data. Great! The data has been successfully inserted into the database after making the changes in the code. Next, let's try sending an update query. Next, let's try sending a delete query. Oh, I made a mistake in entering the table name, it should be customers with ends at the end. From this experiments using the simple PGSQL library to send queries to a PostgreSQL database, we've achieved success. We can execute the simple queries such as select, insert, update, and delete. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on our future videos. See you in the next video.